Services of Eastern Missouri provides free civil legal assistance to low-income people in 21 counties of Eastern Missouri. And joining us today are Dan Glazier, who's the Executive Director and General Counsel of Legal Services, and Karen Warren, the Managing Attorney of the Public Benefits Program of Legal Services of Eastern Missouri. Welcome, Karen and Dan. Thank you, Sarah. So Thank glad you. you could join us. We always love to hear about what is the latest and greatest out from legal services because the services that you all provide are so important to our St. Louis community. So, Dan, for those who maybe aren't as familiar, give us the, the rundown. Sure. Well, again, happy to be here. Thank you. Um, you know, what we provide at Legal Services of Eastern Missouri is uh, we like to say we help our clients to survive and ultimately thrive. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we help our uh, clients who are victims uh, of domestic violence to be safe. We help families who uh, need to keep a roof over their heads to, to stay in their homes. We help uh, kids get access to critical education. Mm -hmm. uh, we help uh, clients who are dealing with consumer issues to address those. We help uh, immigrants to uh, navigate uh, that uh, difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, another big area that we work in is, uh, is, is health care mm -hmm. and uh, help our clients to uh, get access to uh, the critical health care uh, that they need. So it really plays in perfectly to survive and to thrive. And the clients are anybody in Missouri. Um, in, in your case, you're dealing mostly with St. Louis. Well, so we're in 21 counties, as you said, mm -hmm. uh, throughout eastern Missouri. Okay. So we go as far north as the Iowa border okay. and as far south as Potosi. But clearly uh, are the largest amount of our clients, uh, numbers of our clients come from St. Louis City, St. Louis County, St. Charles, Jefferson County. That's okay. the, and, and the key element here is that they are indeed low-income uh, individuals with low opportunity uh, and, um, and, and, and if they are in fact uh, qualify uh, for our services, uh, then they will get free uh, legal assistance uh, and, from our... And qualification, how does that happen? Well, just to give you an idea, well, qualification happens by, uh, by calling um, 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 our, our number, and I think you're going to be uh, mm -hmm. giving that, uh, right. and, um, and getting into our intake system. Okay. Uh, and, you know, it's an income eligibility based program. Just to give you a generalized idea, okay. you know, a family of four uh, making about uh, 30,000 uh, would qualify. Okay. 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 And, um, but obviously, you, you deal with more than just families, you deal with individuals and singles. Right. And, uh, yes. Um, so, so, but that's a, that's a good help, a good gauge. And, you know, legal care is something that we all have a right to and, and sometimes need, unfortunately, in our lives. So it's nice to know that there are services for everybody in different um, different income levels well, absolutely access to uh, access to, uh, to to legal counsel uh, can be so critical uh, yeah. to, to deal with uh, issues that uh, that that we all deal with and yeah. certainly low income folks uh, as much and, and just to make a clear distinction it's we do civil legal work as opposed to criminal Okay. Uh, we do not do uh, uh, criminal law. So. Okay, good distinction. Yeah. Okay, so Karen, let's talk about you. You're an attorney with Legal Services, yes. and you're dealing specifically with what area? Um, our area is the Public Benefits Program. We specifically deal with providing our clients a, with assistance and advocacy um, in accessing health care benefits as well as other income maintenance benefits in the Public Benefits Program. Okay, so what are some of the situations that come up in your day-to-day -day world? Typically, um, we see clients who have applied for, on the health care side, who have applied for assistance through Missouri's Medicaid program. Our program focuses on individuals with disabilities and senior citizens. So the Medicaid program is a program specifically, it's a joint state and federal partnership that provides health care benefits to low-income clients. So we see individuals who've applied for the Medicaid program and been denied uh, mm -hmm. access to those benefits or who have been receiving those benefits and the benefits um, are at risk of being terminated. So a person may call your office who's in one of the, is in this situation uh, for whatever reason. And how long does it typically take to get the kind of assistance and help they need? Because you probably have a backlog, I would imagine, at times. Well, we have a lot of requests for assistance, as you can imagine. As Dan mentioned, we serve uh, 21 counties in eastern Missouri. So um, we do work as fast as we can. Um, typically, if a client contacts us, 
um, and they've applied for Medicaid and they've been denied, um, then we work with them as quickly as possible to get information about their particular fact situation because there's a 90-day appeal time frame window for mm -hmm. requesting a fair hearing and if that's necessary we represent those clients. So typically we might see someone who's applied for Medicaid, um, I guess like a typical person would be someone who has worked a long time in their life but maybe they've had a lower paying job and then they have a um, a combination of health impairments mm -hmm. and they've been denied Medicaid benefits which would give them access to everyday preventive health care. So say someone who has uncontrolled diabetes and hypertension and maybe a combination of things. Maybe if they were a laborer they injured themselves on the job so they have back problems. Um, that's kind of a typical case that we might see. Mm -hmm. um, so from start to finish um, it may take us a, at least six months to like represent someone right. and help them uh, get access to Medicaid benefits. So it's important to get to call as soon as you know as one knows they might need help. Correct. Yeah, it is. If you call us um, and you can and contact us when you get notification from the Missouri Family Support Division that your benefits have been denied, your mm -hmm. application has been denied, or your benefits may be terminated, it's it's most important to contact us as soon as possible. Very good. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to learn more about legal services of Eastern Missouri and, all the, uh, and more benefits that you offer to our community. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm.